Come on, baby. Oh, I did it. My knee's down. <laughs> All right, so we've got a couple errands to do today. Let's get going. I got a new mic. Uh, went on the first group ride this past Wednesday. We got rained out. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking hands. Oh God, I forgot I have this back here. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the bag. So I got an Icon, what's it called? Field Armor uh, knee puck here. Just came in from Revzilla. <laughs> Two goals for today. I wanna go try to drag the knee and I got a couple of stunt lots that I wanna check out before Saturday's group ride. Oh, sounds awesome. So I got a new mic in the helmet. The uh, windsock didn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in today. If it's a little windy, that's why. But I did a group ride on Wednesday. Got some great footage, except for it rained on us and my mic wasn't plugged in or it wasn't working. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it a guess. Go ahead. Oh man, now you're gonna leave me? So right now, heading to a potential stunt lot location. I kind of Google Earthed it to see what it looked like before I started headed down. I got like three or four different locations that I'm gonna check out today. Oh, trying to drag the knee. Nope. <laughs> Close. I'll get it down. So I was thinking back here. Yeah, I think this was it. So this is, uh, this road's pretty shitty. That's the problem with uh, Google Earth. You, you look at it, you're like, oh man, this is a great straight set of tarmac here, but then you get back here and you can see it's it's really beat up. This is what I saw. So this little area here. So is this? Yeah, I like this area too. Kind of don't want to snoop around too much because people kind of figure out what you're doing, especially on a Friday. But this isn't a bad little area right here too. All depends if these people work the weekends or not. I want to get this knee down, so I gotta find somewhere to mess around. Look at that standing water. Oh my god. Let's look at that. <laughs> Hopefully this shit's gone by tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah, this ain't bad right here. Got a little shaded picnic area to watch. I like this. It's not smooth, so there is a downgrade and it's a little bumpy loose gravel here came out here with a uh, leaf blower just cleaned up their lot for them moved the trash cans in a little bit got it nice and organized it's good asphalt sorry lizard you better hide you don't know what's coming tomorrow Ooh. this isn't bad it's kind of like right here this little area let's check this out this could be really nice well, let's see if we can drag a knee. Oh. <laughs> nope. I haven't dragged a knee in probably two or three years since I had my last bike, so I gotta get the get the feeling back. You lost that love I'm heading over to see Keith at work. He's talking about getting one of these. In fact, when he saw it, he said, I gotta get one now. But then, as of yesterday, copper. That's right, I'm going four. <laughs> I'm going five under. Oh my god, this bike. Whenever I see a cop, I slow down. There's no need to slow down on this thing. As of yesterday, he said he was leaning towards the Z125 for this. Let me quote, it's faster. <laughs> I said, buddy, you don't need to worry about speed on these things. Ooh, nice. 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 Maserati. For the people that know me from my motorsports photography, AWOL photo, the hoopy I sold to was a guy in a Maserati that owns a Mexican restaurant up in Wesley Chapel. He came to my house to look at it, was really interested in it, and then he tried to talk me down on it, but yet he pulled up in a Maserati. I said, buddy, if you would have pulled up in a Pinto, I would have given you some money off. You pulled up in a Maserati, I'm going to charge you more. I'm doing it. Ah, I made it. Nice. True story, I used to work for Loomis Fargo right after I got in the Marines. I once ate lunch on a stack of $1 million bills that was going to Nielsen's Media, the people that call you for the surveys on television. They send you money if you do their surveys. So I had a million dollars worth of $1 and $5 bills. And uh, I had in the back, there were big blocks of bag. So it was a big bag, probably about, I don't know, about three feet by two feet. And 
that's neutral and I eat my lunch on top of it. That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Is it, can I hear it again? So this is where we're gonna meet up tomorrow. I really want to take the Grom on it. I emailed them. I just want to get a picture like up top of all the Groms at the staging point. How cool would that be? Line them all up up there. So they got the, the little gate that comes up and then all the bikes kind of line up on it. And then it, the gate drops and then obviously you go. How cool would it be to have all the Groms just staged right at the top of this, this ramp right here. Look at that. I got the 5D Mark III, but I only brought the, the wide angle fisheye uh, 15 millimeter 2.8. Tell me I didn't bring a card. There was a post on a photography forum once. I brought a card, nice. Shot a whole wedding without a card and asked if there was a way to recover the images off the camera. That's another thing. If you want anything done right, carpentry, motorcycle work, anything, make sure you hire somebody who knows what they're doing that does it for a living, not just a hobby. Nice. In fact, I'm going to turn this thing around. So I want to go a little bit further back because I'm going to use Lightroom to kind of uh, even this out and get rid of the distortion a little bit. All right. Let's go find Keith. That minivan would definitely beat me. There's my boy. What's up, man? Oh, man? All right, so Keith got a customer. He got to sit on it. I think he's already sold on. I'll circle back after I stop by Old Navy. I want to get some new jeans. The wind is very windy. I'm wide open now, barely getting to 60. Oh, God. I was close there. Oh, this might have been a waste of money, these knee pucks. Come on, baby. Oh, I did it. My knee's down. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Happy moment for me. Now I'm happy. Now I can go buy some jeans. Goal accomplished. I'm definitely parking this thing on the sidewalk. There will now be a short intermission. Still there. Still there. I'm tip you then. Well, thank you for helping us. You, have a very nice day. you too. Take care. All right. Got some jeans. Scraped the knee. Supported the veterans' cause. Good day. Do one more? Okay, sure. Why not? Now that you got it down, Pat, why not just keep doing it? Just keep doing it. And doing it and doing it and doing it well. I represent Queens. She was raised out in Brooklyn. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, maybe I need a little bit more practice. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> All right, so, got some good stuff done. Met up with Keith. I think I got him to want to buy one of these Groms. So, expanding the Grom nation here in Tampa Bay. Dragged the knee, found some stunt lots, checked out the BMX course, took a nice little picture in front of it. And also picked up some jeans and donated five bucks to the veterans cause. All in all, a pretty good little ride. If I can just get in the shade of this. Oh yes, that's nice. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Tune in the next time when we go on a group ride. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. Nice. Nice.